Um, All righty. Um, do you would it be out of bounds for us to say we we're expecting more? Either from Namaste will have like a, like a sequel or are you going to be doing more collaborations with other types of stories, but you know, Bollywood and Hollywood? Because obviously it's a new territory that obviously is uh, manifesting really well. So do you think we should be expecting anything from that space? For sure. I mean, I'm blown away by the response of this and just the fact that it featured in the top 10 in so many countries mm. means people are hungry for this kind of content. Yeah. So 100% will be doing a lot more cross-cultural. Nice. I mean, I think that it's not even just countries that, you know, are diverse. Sometimes it's religion. Sometimes yeah. it's age factors. There's so many mm. things and it's what's out there. It's not always a new to have the same of everything. And it's nice to just be different. So you're going to see a lot of content coming from my side. Awesome. Okay, Good to hear so that. Um, uh, I want to talk about the music, all right? Because um, mm. the music from the movie is uh, something that's really caught everyone's attention. Mm -hmm. yeah. Reason is um, uh, Nigeria, as a country, we've been able to, um, uh, including you, we've been able to hone the the music space and then make it uh, make it a huge export. But you see, with the song and the soundtracks from this movie, there's a, there's a cross-country and cross-sound element to it, all right? That's really caught everyone's eye. Um, uh, you know, I, picked, I helped some people on the road. It's a personal experience. I helped some people on the road, uh, you know, in traffic and stuff like that. And I played one of the songs from the movie that a friend had sent to me. And instantaneously, they knew what it was. Mm -hmm. And I could hear them, wow. I could hear them gossip about it behind. Mm -hmm. It's very clear, right? It, they didn't even know who and who sang it, but they knew what it was and they knew the movie it was from. How how the 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 process of making this was it intentional? Um, uh, was it supposed to have these elements that it had, or was it supposed to be a, 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 a balance just for the movie? Mm. So so in regards to the cross culture and the music specifically, I have an amazing associate producer on the project, Amai Abaga. I'm sure you all know him. He's yeah, wonderful. Yeah. So um, he's part of the project. And I was very um, clear that what I wanted to do was have both mixed as much as we could blend it. Because we have, like you mentioned, this amazing Afrobeats, this amazing Hindi music. I wanted to try and put the two together as much as possible. So we've had influence from India. We've had MI's team. And um, I had a background music person from India as well, but he also had experience in Afrobeats. Mm -hmm. So what we tried to do is merge the two. And like, for example, MI Abaga's team made the song Namaste Bohala. Yeah. I then sent it to DJ Super K2 in India, who's a very famous DJ there, to remix it. Mm. So when you see, for example, the engagement song, you'll have the Afro beats and some pigeon in there, but you'll also have a remix of some bangra. And that's what we did with some of the dance moves in the movie. And, and if you noticed um, with the engagement party, we also had the food come together. I didn't want it to yeah. be an engagement where you had Nigerian food and Indian food. So when we did the party, I actually did approach the restaurant to actually cook this food. So we have jollof biryani, we have alu puff puff, and it was to merge the two together because the theme of it is we are all one. And what happens when you get the two countries together? It's almost like a, another nationality. Mm -hmm. <laughs>